Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well. So in this video we are going to be reviewing Lion King 2 Simba's Pride which is the straight to video sequel release for the classic 90s cartoon cinematic movie Lion King. And Lion King 2 is actually a movie that not many people know about because it had a straight to video release and did not have the big cinematic release which is a shame because actually I think it's probably one of my favourite Disney movie sequels because it's that good. It adds a lot of new layers, it adds a lot of new characters, the musical score is really great and there's a lot of new shocking moments as well. So, you know, it's definitely a great Disney movie sequel. The Lion King film is obviously fantastic and it just got a live action movie release or remake re-release very recently. Hopefully they do the same thing with Lion King 2 Simba's Pride because it is a really, really good sequel movie and I'm going to explain why I enjoy this movie so much in this movie review. So the overall premise of this movie is based on another Shakespearean storyline. So the first Lion King movie was based on the Shakespearean novel of Hamlet, whereas the sequel of the Lion King movie has been based on the Shakespearean novel of Romeo and Juliet. So the film does a really, really good job in terms of creating two sides. So you have the Pride Landers, which is Simba's side on one hand, and on the other side you have the Outlanders, which is run by the remnants of Scar's side. So there are two different families and two different groups of lions. And then in Simba's side, you obviously have Simba's daughter, Kiara, who falls in love with Scar's adopted son, Kovu. So it's the movies about kind of the forbidden love between these two characters, as well as the rivalry between the two families and the two sides as well. Simba is still a main character in this film. It's just more centered around their forbidden love romance between Kiara and Kovu. So the characters and the actors in this movie are fantastic. All of the main characters that survived the first film are back, as well as a lot of new characters in there as well. So there's a lot of new dimensions, a lot of new depth that these new characters are bringing to the cast, so that's awesome. So let's go through them one by one. So we have Simba, who is still a little bit living in the shadow of Mufasa. He's trying to kind of live up to the great king figure that Mufasa was. He's trying to be a great king, he's trying to keep the peace with the outlanders, he's trying to be a good husband, and he's also trying to be really protective of his daughter Kiara in the same way that Mufasa was protective over him and is trying to learn from how he was when he was Kiara's age. So he is a little bit sympathetic, but he's still trying to be really protective as well. We then have Kiara, who is the daughter of Simba and Nala, and she really represents a lot of the qualities that Simba had when he was her age. And that's kind of, it is a nice kind of thing that they've done with this movie in that they've kind of continued the storyline through a young lion in the same way that they did with the first film. They've reflected and represented a lot of the qualities that Simba had. So it's kind of like a retelling, but done in a new way with new storylines and new characters. So that kind of dimension is really, really interesting in this film. And Kiara is definitely one of the main characters in this movie. We then have Kovu, who is a fantastic co-lead in this film. And whilst he looks identical to Scar and is kind of raised to be his successor, he kind of goes on his own path and has a really, really good heart. And actually in this film has a great amount of character development in this movie, probably the most character development out of all the different characters in this film, so that's really, really cool. Kovu's character also has a brother and sister as well, so their little dynamic and their different perspectives and just kind of their like scenes together are really, really interesting as well. So Kovu is a fantastic addition to the Lion King family. Zira is the main villain in this movie and she is full of evil and darkness as she wants Simba dead and she wants to rule the Pride Lands in order to avenge the death of Scar. And it's actually pretty chilling the lengths that this character will go to in order to complete her mission. We then have the other secondary returning characters. So we have Timon and Pumbaa who aren't as funny as they were in the first Lion King movie, but they're really nice there for more of a continuation purpose. And I'd say the same about Zazu and Rafiki as well. Zazu's not really got many scenes, he's not really a big character in this film, which is fine because there's other kind of storylines and other characters in this film and it's kind of nice still to have him there more from a continuation point of view. And the same with Rafiki, he only really has one scene and he isn't really much of a sage of wisdom to the other characters 
like he was to Simba in the first film, but like with Timon and Pumbaa and Zazu, it's really nice to have him there more from a continuation point of view. Given the fact that this film was made over 20 years ago, the visuals actually do stand the test of time really, really well. They have a lot of similar visuals used from the first film, which is really, really nice. And yeah, overall the visuals are really, really good. The musical score is really, really good. The characters all look really, really good. The scenes are pretty intense. And yeah, the visuals just really, really do make it what it is. It is really colourful and there's really nice moments in this movie. So from a visuals point of view, this movie is great. As far as comparisons go, this movie is definitely able to hold its own. It's a really good Disney formula movie. It's a really good sequel movie. It's not as good as the first movie, but it definitely is a really, really good film. I do hope that they kind of make a live action remake of this movie because it would be brilliant on screen and would follow on from the recently released live action Lion King film. So I do hope that they release this sequel. But yeah, overall it is a really, really good film. Not as good as the first film, but definitely a great contender for a Disney sequel and a great Disney animated film in general as well. Overall, I really, really enjoyed Lion King 2 Simba's Pride. If you haven't seen it, I would recommend seeing it because it's got a great storyline, great characters, great visuals, great musical score, and yeah, just adds a lot of depth and new layers to the first film. The first film is an absolute classic, and if you like this film, I would recommend seeing the second film because it is really, really good as a sequel. The <laughs> Lion King TV brand has kind of did a spin-off whereby they've given Simba another son called Keon, who is kind of the same age as Kiara, so it does kind of mess around with the storyline and the world that they've created with the sequel, but maybe we can kind of see it in terms of the Avengers, in terms of a multiverse of different storyline potential. I mean, you can maybe try to squeeze Keon into this world and yeah, just kind of mix the TV series with the sequel. But anyway, apart from that little kind of change up with the storyline formula, this movie is really, really good. If you haven't seen it, I would recommend seeing it. I personally really enjoyed it. And because of those reasons, I'm going to give it a solid seven out of 10. I'd love to hear what you think, so please let me know in the comment section below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in my next video.